It was a pleasant afternoon in my hometown when I met that accidental accident. My left leg was badly hurt and I was unable to go to college for more than a month. I literally stick to my bed for the whole day. So sticking to the bed for the whole day and doing nothing is the uncomfortable thing I have ever had. I started learning Udacity online courses and mobile application development and started building apps. I recovered and went back to my college. With the help of my friends, I started taking classes for them on what I learned in Udacity. So they started following my classes after the regular hours. So I'm always eager to share what I learned to my friends and juniors. I started and I continued to take the classes for them and uh, like the interaction classes. And then this is the best part of my life where students used to listen to my words and they followed me. They believed me and I feel responsible for them for their belief. Then I always follow and the Goldilocks rule, which states that humans experience the peak motivation. <coughs> humans experience the peak motivation when they believe and when they do the things that are able to their current abilities. And neither too hard nor too easy. But when they achieve the things, then it will give to uh, like it will motivate you to do the next thing. And I'm sorry. Yeah. So after that, the best thing ever happened in my life is meeting with the Vijayalakshmi ma'am. She patted me and then she inspired me to, to, uh, to take to the UF program and UF gave wings to my dreams. After that, uh, UF gave a path for me in order to organize the things and to, get, uh, to give the specific strategy to my life. And with the help of these design thinking techniques, I created a website along with my friends, two of my friends in my class, where it reached to our department level, and then it is now serving more than 1,000 students. So here is the website where you can see. And moreover, the Silicon Valley meetup, which I had like took part in 2017 November, had, had become a great takeover for me. So the strategies which I learned, so I was really filled, uh, like filled with a lot of aspirations and dreams, I was back to my college. And the design thinking workshops which we did as a D challenge has given a chance for me to give that takeaway which I took from the Silicon Valley meetup. And I feel like the complete assimilation, uh, assimilation has been given to them. And at that moment I really felt this is what I want. Some. Uh, at some time, we face that some of the faculty members and students are really unable to know what are the things happening in the college. So we created a blog for our MITS UF team along with the faculty champions. There we post all the updates, what we, what are we are doing in the campus. So and this is the major strategy we took, like introducing the design thinking into the curriculum. So this has been the crucial part where uh, I, a bachelor student, designing the curriculum for the masters and bachelors for the coming generations. And without the hard work and without the support of these people, I would like uh, I would never have been achieve my success. So I would like to thank University Innovation Fellows, Google, APSSDC, and my MITS management team. So it's all about the motivation, what we drives. So like you are the only person where <laughs> so you are the only person who ever know the better than uh, like who knows better than you like but I'm sorry so what I would like to tell is don't ever give up on all the things so every object in this world is due to the hard work of hard uh, like hard work of the other people you got this <laughs> i'm sorry i'm really impressed. so i would like to tell you like be your own self and do all the things you are the <laughs> yeah okay. Like you are the captain of your fate, master of your soul, boss of your dreams, and the king of your goal.
in this moment, I would like to leave you with a question. How can you stay motivated always to reach your dreams?